This year is starting to ramp up in terms of big video game releases, and February is certainly stacked with some big AAA titles. There are some highly anticipated titles coming to Xbox this month, and I cannot wait to dive into these myself. My name is Fletcher, this is Xbox Nation, and today we will be covering the 10 best new Xbox games to play in February 2024. A couple of these games are also dropping onto Game Pass, so stay tuned to the end of the video on how to save some money on Xbox Store credit and your Game Pass subscriptions. Without further ado, let's dive right in. So first up on the 2nd of February, we have two huge AAA games coming to Xbox and one of these is dropping onto Game Pass day one. So to start with, we have the upcoming Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League and I know many are very skeptical to see if this title is going to be any good. The game is built around Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, King Shark and Deadshot as they are tasked with eliminating brainwashed Justice League heroes. Players will be be able to team up in squads of four to take on enemies across a huge open world city environment. From what we have seen so far, I think many are mixed, especially due to the live service aspect, and that this isn't really sticking to the original source material known in the DC universe. One thing is for certain though, it's going to have to really nail the combat to be considered as one of the best co-op games around. Favorite. Now, joining Suicide Squad on the very same day is the eagerly anticipated Persona 3 Reload. This is a remake of the original third entry in this mammoth franchise and is looking incredible from all the previews given by the devs so far. This is also dropping onto Xbox Game Pass day one for all Xbox Game Pass subscribers on PC, console and cloud. Persona 3 Reload brings with it a brand new voice cast which are all changed from the original PS2 game but still keeps that authentic feel that fans know known love. As to be expected, the remake includes a wealth of changes that bring this genre-defining RPG up to modern day standards and all of that in crisp 4K. It looks like a fantastic remake and to be honest, I would not expect any different from the talented devs over at Atlas. Pretty exciting, man. Persona. One game that I think many have forgotten about since its initial reveal is actually releasing just around the corner on the 13th of February. Banisher's Ghost of New Eden is a new game from Don't Nod, who are the team behind Life is Strange and Dusant, but this time it takes it to a whole new alternative timeline. This game is an action RPG adventure featuring two romantically involved protagonists. You can switch seamlessly between each Banisher, who is a ghost hunter tasked with ridding troublesome spirits from the living world. You will get to use their unique abilities and weapons in combat and explore New Eden, and so far the world looks absolutely stunning. The developers have said that this game also features choice-driven story mechanics with impactful effects based on players' decisions. It looks like a great experience and one I was certainly not expecting out of Don't Nod, but they definitely create fantastic player-driven games. Or do we part forever? Come out, or if you are, come on, show yourself. The Tomb Raider 1-3 Remastered Collection arrives onto Xbox consoles on February 14th, so if you're like me, we get to relive these classic masterpieces that have been stuck on the old gen consoles for quite some while now. For the first time ever, we will get to play this complete experience with all expansions and secret levels on modern platforms. This includes Tomb Raider 1 and Unfinished Business, Tomb Raider 2 and Golden Mask, and Tomb Raider 3 and The Lost Artifact. Again, we can now experience the globe-trotting adventure which follows Lara Croft around the world and face off against deadly foes and dangerous myths. As to be expected with this remaster, it has been lovingly restored by Aspire and we can now experience the classics boasting upgraded graphics and with the option to switch to the original polygon look at any time. This next title is one that really does intrigue me and looks like it'll be a barrel of laughs. Plate Up combines chaotic kitchen and restaurant management with strategic planning and development to create a delightful roguelike dish unlike any other seen before. Think of Overcooked but with some new interesting mechanics and even more chaotic happenings. Up to four players can build and run a restaurant from scratch, choosing dishes, buying and placing appliances, cooking food and serving customers. Additionally, you will also have free reign to design your own restaurant which will expand and develop between shifts with additional content and challenges. It 
looks like a really good indie game and the overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam paint the picture of a fantastic experience. This arrives on Xbox consoles and day one onto Game Pass on February 15th. Well, after five delays, we are finally getting the release of Ubisoft's Skull and Bones. I think many of us at this point don't expect a lot out of this title, but I'm still curious to see how the game plays, especially as I was a fan of Black Flag's naval warfare. Skull and Bones is set during the Golden Age of Piracy, which is a period between the 1650s and 1730s, where maritime piracy was a significant issue around the globe. Ubisoft have settled on an open world inspired by the Indian Ocean, which the publisher has described as being beautiful yet dangerous. Ultimately though, there is a multiplayer first live service game and even Ubisoft have confirmed there is no single player story. With that in mind, I don't really see this game doing too well on launch unless the gameplay just blows us all away. Their power ships have more gun ports, allowing you to deal higher damage, but are more challenging to maneuver. For all of our strategy fans out there, we are finally getting the console release of Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. This game is essentially just like the new XCOM games, but set in the Warhammer 40k universe. You control a squad of four Grey Knights, the Imperium of Man's most elite anti-chaos forces, but each one of them also has powerful psionic powers. In this game, you will have to work with an Imperial Inquisitor, Vakir, as she tries to stop a ploy from the play God of Chaos. It is a fantastic strategy game from my own playtime on PC, but it's pretty much a one-for-one -one copy of one of the best strategy games out there, and on top of it, it has a Warhammer theme. To me, these are two great franchises mixed together Together, which is nothing wrong, but if you're looking for a more unique experience, then maybe hold out on this one for a little while. There are grievous matters to attend. The edict cries out for repair. A pretty cool looking RPG that is coming to Xbox consoles on the 22nd of February is King Arthur Knight's Tale. This is a unique hybrid between turn-based tactical games and traditional character-centric RPGs. Knight's Tale is a modern retelling of a classic King Arthur story, filtered through the dark fantasy tropes of a twist on the traditional tales of its chivalry. It has been on PC now for a little while, but many applaud the game for its ambitious and lengthy gameplay with detailed tactical mechanics that emphasize smart positioning. You will take control of a small squad of heavily armored knights to overcome opponents in pretty great looking medieval environments and dungeons. There seems to be a lot of fun to be found in its grim scowling characters and knightly fantasy milieu and for anyone who likes dark medieval style games then this will be a good one to pick up. Open Roads was revealed all the way back in 2020, but has since been announced to be launching onto Xbox consoles and day one into Xbox Game Pass on February 22nd. Open Roads looks to be following in the first person storytelling footsteps of its predecessors, but rather than being confined to a single place like past games, it will quite literally have you hitting the open roads. On this journey, you will be seeking to uncover the mysteries of your mother who unfortunately passed away, and you find out so many twists along the way. This seems like such a great narrative adventure and really ups the ante in terms of art style and it just looks absolutely stunning. We don't have to wait much longer for this indie title as it launches just around the corner. Now one game that I'm actually very excited to experience again is the Brothers A Tale of Two Sons remake. This game was hailed by critics when it was originally released and I can say from personal experience that this game is a masterpiece. Being able to control both characters each with one stick was such a unique experience and the story is absolutely incredible. This remake features rebuilt characters and landscapes based on the original and has been updated to the latest generation of graphics, performance and gameplay. Pair that with a re-recorded soundtrack with a live orchestra, we will all have to prepare for an emotional experience that will take this adventure to all new heights. The first game in terms of story was mind-blowing and incredibly emotional and I can't wait for many to experience this for the very first 
first time. It comes out on Xbox consoles on February 28th. What game are you looking forward to this February? Let me know in the comments below. Whilst here, do consider subscribing for more Xbox videos every single day. If you want to save money on Xbox store credit, games and Xbox Game Pass subscriptions, then you can head over to our website xboxnation.co.uk and you can use code XBOXNATION to get 5% off any purchase. This is a great way to get a bit of a discount on any upcoming game releases or save you a bit of money on your Game Pass subscriptions. Now, if you're interested, check out the video on screen now of the 15 best survival games on Xbox Game Pass in 2024.